yesterday we have discussed with some dm causes for the differences between cash book and passbook now when we go for this thing what are the different dm and things that we will come across okay what are the different dm and got the different causes that we come across yesterday we learned all those things and and today also i'm going to take the and along with that i'm going to take into account some other special items okay the difference between the cash book and pass book it is due to the following causes checks issued but not presented for payment okay when we give checks when a businessman when he gives checks to any person first of all he will record in his cash book he will record in his cash book and that check whatever he had given it should be presented to the bank and until the payment was made it won't come in this okay pass book so when we go for favorable balance what is the effect and when we go for unfavorable balance what is the effect okay when we go for favorable balance okay cash book balance will come down it will show less and pass book balance will show more okay when you go for unfavorable balance okay cash book balance okay that is nothing but the overdraft it will increase whereas the pass book balance it will show less amount this is the main effect of this because we came to know that we will come across two types of balances that is favorable balance and unfavorable balance okay so what are the, what is the effect what is the effect of the I mean checks issued but not present for me for payment when we go for favorable balance as well as unfavorable balance okay next checks deposited in me but not yet collected in the bank okay when we receive checks okay when we receive checks when the businessman when he receives the checks he will imme immediately get that on the okay when he deposited when he wrote that in the cash book and when it is not collected when it is not collected what will happen okay when we take into account the favorable balance the favorable balance okay will increase okay as per cash book the favorable balance will increase and the favorable balance of pass book it will show less amount because it should be collected it has to go to a clearing house and from clearing house they have to get that and then only they can show that in the pass book, the bank people so when we go for unfavorable balance or overdraft okay cash book balance will show less whereas pass book balance will show more okay so this is about this thing. then interest on investments dividends interest on deposits uh, etc created in pass book but not entered in cash book not entered in see when you come across by me um, the interest on investments dividends etc etc that is uh, interest on deposits etc the bank people they'll show on the deposit side and they won't inform that to the condition businessman and the businessman has to get that information when they are writing on the deposit side okay when we go for favorable balance favorable balance as per cash book it will show less amount and favorable balance as per pass book it will show more amount when we go for unfavorable balance okay and i mean cash book ba unfavorable balance will show more and pass book unfavorable balance okay it will show less like this next 
bank charges, interest on overdrafts, insurance premium, all those things. Okay, the, ba the bank people, by taking into account the standing instructions of the customer, okay, they will go for this bank charges, okay, payment of insurance, uh, insurance premiums, and next, I mean, um, what do you call this? Interest on overdrafts, all these things, they'll show that on the a withdrawal side, on the withdrawal side. And they won't inform that it is the duty of the businessman to get that information. Okay, when you go for favorable balance, favorable balance as per cash book, it will show more amount and favorable balance as per passbook, it will show less amount. <coughs> if you go for overdraft or unfavorable balance, okay, unfavorable balance as per cash book, it will show less and unfavorable balance as per passbook, it will show more amount. That is quite contrast. Okay, in a quite contrast manner, they will show. So like this, you will come across some causes. And apart from that, apart from that, we are going for the errors in cash book or passbook. Mind it, the cash book will be maintained by the businessman and the passbook will be maintained by the bank. He has a bank will he has no authority to come and correct the errors in the cash book. In the same way, the I mean businessman has no right to go and correct that in the passbook. Okay, when you come across errors, first of all you have to clear the errors and you must get the correct balances. Okay, either in cash book or in passbook, you have to get the correct balances. Then only you have to go for reconciliation. Suppose if the errors, after correction of the errors, whatever it may be, the adjusted cash book and whatever it may be, the adjusted passbook, if they tally, then there is no necessity for us to go for reconciliation. If they should balances, then only okay, the problem arises to go for bank reconciliation okay bank reconciliation statement is always prepared on as on a particular date it is now it is never for a month or year thing is how to prepare bank reconciliation on a particular date it should not be of a month or it should not be of a year but as and when you come across any differences and as and when you observe any differences, then only you have to prepare the bank reconciliation statement. If the statement and not an account, one thing you have to keep in mind is, okay, the term bank balance means favorable balance unless otherwise stated. In case of favorable balance, the cash book shows debit balance and the passbook shows credit balance. In case of unfavorable balance, cash book will show a credit balance and passbook will show uh, a debit balance. Okay. Next thing is, yeah. When you go for this problematic portion, you have to take into account one balance. Either you have to cash book balance or book balance and they will put in the problem itself suppose if you are given the cash book balance you have to find out the passbook balance if you are given the passbook balance you have to find out the cash book balance that is the thing that you will come across in bank reconciliation scheme now the easy way easy way for us to do the problem is you have to go through the problem one to two times. Then you have to see first of all what is the balance that he had given to you. What is the balance that he had given to you? First of all, you have to take out that. If he gives two balance, you have to show cash book balance. If you come across passbook balance, you have to show like that, first of all, you have to find out what balance, what type of balance he had given to you. 
in that also you have to observe whether it is a favorable balance or an unfavorable balance it may be a cash book or it may be a pass book whatever it may be okay you have to observe keenly this thing then after going deep into the problem you have to see where the transaction was appearing and where it is not appearing for example if you come across checks issued but not presented for payment first of all you have to go from cash book onwards okay don't be of that opinion that i have to take the pass book first of all you have to take into account the cash book because cash book will be with the businessman so what is happening what happened in the cash book and what does not happened in the pass book these two things first of all you have to question yourself then immediately you will get the answer checks issued checks issued means it will appear on the debit side i mean credit side of cash book that is payment side it was appeared but it was not appearing in pass book so you have to show that amount in the debit side of pass book that is withdrawal side of and whatever it may be the causes that we come across okay there is no necessity to go for mean so many so much calculations only you have to add and you have to deduct additions and deductions only you have to do in your statement you won't come across the other mathematical functions like multiplication division you won't come across you will come across only two function mathematical functions that is addition and subtraction these two things only you will come across in bank reconciliation okay so basing upon the given information you have to show that whether it should be added or whether it should not be added okay whether you go for a favorable balance or an unfavorable balance the same treatment you have to take but one thing you have to keep in mind is you have to start with cash book only but not with pass book okay sometimes you will come across pass book balance even then even then what happened to your cash book first of all you have to take into account the cash book balance then only you have to think about the pass book balance because one thing you have to keep in mind is the cash book will be with you the cash book will be with you that is with the I mean, businessman so he has to think from his side he has to think from his side then only he has to think about the other side this is the thing that you will come across and the next thing is before going for this before going for this bank reconciliation statement every one every one they have to go for rough work they have to go for rough work and in rough work you have to draw the cash book format as well as pass book format and you have to I mean completely you have to go through all the items and you have to see how many items are to be added and how many items are to be deducted then okay after getting all the things all the values you have to add to whatever it may be the balance that you are given and all the items that are to be deducted must be deducted and you have you will get an answer so automatically that answer will be the uh, balance of other book and in this brs there is a may mean scope there is an opportunity for us to go for rechecking whether our answer there is no necessity for us to ask anybody whether this thing is correct or not there is a scope and opportunity for us to go and recheck okay recheck so whatever it may be the balance that you come across you have to take that balance and all the deducted items you have to add and all the added items you have to deduct thereby you have to see whether the balance given whether you received that i mean whether you got that or not okay when you do yourself automatically I mean you can be in a position to verify your problem without asking anybody this is the main thing that you have to keep in mind
but one thing i am telling you frankly that okay before writing the exam before going for the answer you better go for this rough work and do all these things which items are to be added and which items are to be deducted all these things you have to take into account and after doing that and after getting that and after rechecking then you can go for the answer okay that is the easiest way and the perfect way to get any answer in this brs only brs chapter only will provide that opportunity for us to recheck whether our results whether our problem whether our performance is correct or not and before that you have to read the problem one to two times and you have to understand that you are understanding the problem what happened and what is to be done what happened and what is to be done and what we are going to get if you are going to keep the questions for yourself then immediately the answer will come to you as i told you already earlier okay half of the problem half of the solution will be in the problem only okay don't be of that opinion that you are mild mug okay mug all these things don't think leave them aside and just go to one to two times if not if not go for five times okay if not for five times thereby you can be in a position to understand this okay that is the easiest way for you to go for the solution of this brs okay when you go for rough work and when you do all these things automatically you can be in a position to, to get the answers and another thing is in brs okay you will be given the abstracts you will be given the abstracts that is they will give cash book abstract as well as pass book abstract okay when you are given the abstracts of cash book as well as pass book okay what and you will be asked to come I in mean, prepare the bank reconciliation statement then in that case okay in that case okay you have to take into account okay observe you have to observe whether they belong to the same month or of different months that is the main thing that you have to take into account when the transactions are of same month both in cash book abstract as well as in pass book abstract then you have to take into account the common figures only and with that common figures only you have to go for bank reconciliation okay you have to take into account the common figures that you are coming across in cash book as well as pass book those items only you have to take and you have to go for reconciliation and when the transactions when they are of different months when they are of different months that is cash book will show one month and pass book will show another month in that case when the months are different when the dates are different and when the months are different then what you have to do is the common items whatever you come across in cash book abstract as well as pass book abstract you have to ignore them and you have to go for the different items that we come across in cash book as well as pass book so this is the very climax scene that you will come across and most of the people most of the people i'm telling you the fact most of the people they will be me affected with this two abstracts because up to that extent they will take into account this I mean brs according to the problems whatever they give okay but here when you come across the abstracts or summaries of both cash book as well as pass book here they will get confused so don't be of that confusion straight away when you are given the abstracts you have to see the months for example you are given a cash book abstract of march month at the same time you are given the pass book abstract of march month only when these two months when they are given of same months then you have to take into account the common items 
the common items and you have to go for reconciliation when cash book abstract is of march and when passbook abstract is of april month here the months are different amount when their months are different you have to take into account the different values or the different items but common items whatever you come across just forget them just ignore them okay thereby you can be in a position to do the bank reconciliation statement okay this is what i want to tell you in this video class okay tomorrow we'll continue or in the next class we are going to continue